Hello everyone, in this video we want to preload images into our cache and basically what we have created in the last videos was this loading screen and after this loading screen we see here that the images are showing but the thing is that if I hot restart now the application and if this is loading again then you see that it takes you some time to load the images and what we want to do is to load the images while the loading screen is showing and how we can do this is first of all that we use a plugin for it and this is the Flutter Advanced Network Image plugin which we want to use. So basically I want to copy this dependency and then go into our Flutter project and here inside I have pasted this dependency inside and because the Flutter Advanced Network Image is not really good supported right now we also need to override here the Flutter SVG with an older version so that this here works. So if you watch this video at a later point, then you probably don't need this. But if you watch it right now, after I've released this video, then you probably need to also put this dependency override here inside. All right, that's it. What we need to do first of all, then we go to our main file and restart our application. In the last video, we have already created this design here and Basically, we have a skeleton design and also a result design where we show here these list view items. Last time we simulated our loading behavior and this time we want to load the real images here inside. So basically what we want to do is to create here a new file and we call it utils.dart and here inside we want to create first of all the class utils and here inside we want to create this method uh, cache image and this gets two things so first of all we set here the context and we also set here the URL from this image and now what we can do here is to call this pre-cache image so this is from the flutter package and here we need to supply two things so first of all we need to set an image provider and the context and therefore I have put here also the context inside and now we want to use here this advanced network image, which is from the plugin, which we have added before. And here inside we need to set some things. So first of all, we set the URL image. So this is the link of our image here on the left side. And then we also have here other properties. So here we have, for example, this use this cache and we set it to true. And then you can also set here a cache rule. So you can define how long this image should be cached and we set it for example for a duration of seven days and yeah you can also modify it like you want so you can have it longer or shorter and I think that's it what we need to do so we want to call this method here cache image inside of our main inside of our load data so basically I write here utils dot and then I need to import this first of all, this utils library. And then I call this cache image. And here inside we get already the context. And to get the URL image, I have put here some data inside. So I have set here some fruits. And these have the property of a URL image. And this is exactly the data which we see here on the right side. And we want to use this fruits property and go back. And then we map over it. And then we get here a fruit bag and inside of this we want to put our cache image and here inside we write here fruit URL image. So this is a single fruit and it will be mapped to our cache image and then we write here to list. And now what we can do is we can call here something which is called future wait. And with this, we can put here many futures inside, which should be run in parallel because we want to load the images and cache them in parallel. And therefore I simply put this here inside of this. So he will load all the images and cache them simultaneously. And this here after it, we don't need it. So we can simply set the loading state after it directly to false because then we have loaded all the images successfully. And this is what we don't need anymore. So I will just keep it inside and put the rate a little bit lower 
so that we always see that it is loading. That's it, what we need to do here in this method. And what I also need to do is to put here for this load data some widget binding inside. So here I have to call the widgets binding and here I get the instance and here I have to call the at post frame callback and there we get the timestamp but we don't need it and inside of it we want to simply call this method here. And what is this method doing? So basically after we have initialized our class then this is executed because otherwise uh, this is executed too early and then we get an error and therefore we need this at post frame callback. All right, so this is about the loading. And now if we hot restart, we can try this out. So let's hot restart this application and you see it's loading the data and it takes some time, but then it is also showing the images not immediately. And how can this be? We cached them and we loaded them. But what you also need to do is you need to go to your result where you show the image and here I have the circle avatar and instead of using this network image we want to put our advanced network image here inside. So this is from the plugin and you also need to import this. And now if I hot restart you see here the same problem. It's not loading immediately and what we also need to set here is this cache property. So we need to set it here to use this cache and then we need to set it to true. And now if we hot restart the application, then you see that it's loading and directly it's showing these images here. And I also can restart it here and load it again and it will immediately show the images after this loading screen. And then he also cached these images. So basically if I put this here outside, then you see that he's not loading anymore because he has cached them and therefore he doesn't need to reload all the time the images because he has already the images cached. And basically to show you that it is also working properly, then we can also change here everywhere the URL. And now Flutter thinks that this URL is a different one and he has it not in his cache. And therefore, if I hot restart it again, then you see now this loading screen again and you see that he loaded everything properly. And now if I try to load anything again, then he knows, okay, this is already in the cache, so I don't need to load it anymore. So basically to sum everything up, we need to call every time the method cache image for all of our images before we show them. And this is what we do during the loading screen. And here inside you have basically some control how long this image should be cached. Then what is really important is that you have here in this build result your advanced network image instead of this normal network image. And this is really important to set this, use this cache to true because then he is loading this image from the cache. And that's basically what we want to do here. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter. And see you soon, bye!